hope you guys aren't arachnophobic. Oh. Before I get onto the concept, I just want to thank Mummy Danza for creating this fantastic arena which I'm going to be using in my future map which is coming out, as well as this giant mountable spider which you can either become or ride. Get here. Alright, so you just right click it and because it's a horse, as you can probably guess, I can go up ledges without needing to press the spacebar and this guy is pretty fast and of course you can also jump and regulate your jumps. It's got its own health and everything, it's pretty cool. And the coolest thing about it is that the head is actually independent of the rest of the body, which is um, not a modeling trick unfortunately, I did have to use command blocks to do this. So the head is actually a zombie with a custom model on top and the rest of the body's uh, individual parts run by armor stands being teleported to a specific horse. So that is the entire concept. This is mostly run by models and the teleport command. And so forgive my modeling experience, um, Samosaurus had to help me a lot with this so I will link a tutorial series by him on how to model in the description below because he did help me figure out how to actually make this possible. So let's go to the command blocks and see what we've got. So the zombies and armor stands have a tag of part and the horse has a tag of height and all the parts get teleported to the horse and each body part is actually its own entity. So this is actually the zombie. We're teleporting the tag of spider head downwards two blocks, I mean one and a half blocks and the Rotation of the head, which is what these two tilders on the end do, determine where the player is looking. So that means wherever I'm looking, the head will follow as well. If we go to the other parts though, you'll see that I put a zero here on the end. And that just means when I look up, the whole body doesn't tilt up and the legs don't tilt up because trust me, it looks very, very strange. And that is the entire concept. It's just the same for the rest of the body parts. Now let's turn off the resource pack and see what this thing looks like. Yup, this is what the spider looks like with the resource pack turned off. Each armor stand has a different item on top and the zombie also has its own item on top as well. Now you can use durability to change this. I haven't figured out how to do that. So they're all different items. Also, if you guys can figure out a way to increase the limits of the scale, then I would like to hear that as well from all you modeling experts out there because this is my first time. So we've got the zombie, one zombie only because if I have all the armor stands be zombies instead, then entity collisions will cause the horse to go flying everywhere and that is not what we want. So we've got one zombie and the rest are just marker armor stands to prevent that from happening. But anyways guys, this is a spider that you can become. The model is huge and that is how I've done it. We'll be using this in a future PvP map and this thing actually terrifies me even when it's just standing still, I don't even go near it. So I think I've done a, um, a pretty decent job. Still working on the model. If you've got any suggestions for this, then please leave them in the comments below. But for now, thank you all very, very much for watching this new concept. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.